Today we are going to stay in the most cheapest hotel in uh, Singapore from the Marriott Bonvoy Group. It's called the Serangoon House. It's renovated by a new owner and it's located right at the Little India, which is uh, quite convenient for you to explore a uh, different culture of Singapore, which is like uh, India. You get to go to the Little India walking distance and then uh, you can just come right over here. So it's a very cool boutique hotel, very, very small, uh, no gym, no swimming pool, but they do have club lounge. They have a very interesting design of the room. So uh, let me show you the way to uh, check in. It's a uh, very, very cheesy right over here. So uh, lobby is just right over here. I'll just wait for Sean. <laughs> it's a very cheesy hotel. So lobby should be right over here. They have a very nice lobby and a smell very nice. Hello. Upon we came in here, Sean has started to take photo non-stop at the uh, entrance. I think it's quite cool though. Uh, the room can be very, very small. I'll let you know whether I got an upgrade or not. Then uh, they also have a very cool thing. They have a bunk bed. So it's my very first time to stay in a Marriott hotel with a bunk bed. I will show you the room. The evening cocktail, they do have a club lounge and I will show you the breakfast. It's a very simple boutique hotel right over here. Not much of facility, but uh, it's good that for you to explore Little India. Good news, I got an upgrade to a Maharani suite. I will show you the room. I'm not sure how the suite looks like. As a platinum guest, you get the point and uh, as a platinum guest, you get the free breakfast and the club lounge access. So, uh, the only option I can get is just to get a point. Uh, if you are not a platinum, you can choose breakfast. This is the corridor. We love this telephone. I think nowadays the young generation have no idea how to use this dial uh, phone. It's work. <laughs> okay, it's a real actual phone. And our room is 211. Should be right over here. Okay. I'm going to show you how cheesy <laughs> is this room. <laughs> This is the largest second room and this is the largest room. Uh, sadly that we can't get this. It is super, super tiny, this room. And uh, Sean is at the bunk bed now. Hi, Sean. <laughs> I will show you the room first and then I'll pass the camera to Sean. So once you step inside here, there's a two hanger right over here. Uh, it's a very, very cheesy hotel, super cheesy. Uh, but it have a lot of details that I think Instagrammer will love it. It's like, uh, not too bad though. Please dial 100 for assistance, thank you. And even all the small lamps are nice. Uh, this uh, phone is just a button phone, so younger generation have no problem with that. And a bit okay, uh, a little bit rough. And uh, I like it because uh, it's quite low raised. So uh, for those, uh, elderly to stay in this room had no issue and uh, it looks like a king side bed though I did not check about this uh, bed yet I mean the room then uh, you got a mini bar and working desk right over there so let's check out the fridge how to open the fridge okay oh they even put a very small little ladder thing to make it look more cooler look more uh, luxury and uh, very cheesy couch the safe is right here the coffee machine the tea there looks like a good tea then two complimentary drinking water the lamp a huge tv but i'm not sure whether it can have a good view i think it should be fine then a small little thing for you to put your stuff and uh, here is the view uh, just ended the Indian festival, so they left two peacock and uh, some Indian gods right over there. The lamb, you can draw the curtain, and the drawer is empty. Another cheesy uh, chair, lamb. Uh, nice thing is like uh, they have the universal power plug, USB port, and another plug is right over here. Oh, two plug and two power port. I'm going to pass the mic to Sean, and this is how the what they call staircase to go up. Hi, Sean. 
Hello. So uh, upstairs over here, there's a bed that is of the same size, of course, with the uh, bed at the lower deck. Uh, it's pretty sizable and it's not very claustrophobic for me. Uh, although the ceiling is a bit on the low side um, So yeah, this is what you get over here A nice duvet And then um, you have four pillows uh, Behind me So uh, it's great uh, I think this um, Suite is perfect for four packs But two packs is good also If let's say uh, You want to Sleep on a big bed on your own you can have one bed to yourself and one bed to your other half and then um, over here is where the ladder is being stored so you can actually retrieve the collapsible ladder from there to attach it um, over here oh okay <laughs> so you need to remove that and then you slot it in and then you can climb out the climb is a little bit dangerous, but I think kids will love it because it's uh, very fun and exciting. Yeah. So let me show you how is the staircase so looks like. So some we did not remove this, and then we thinking it's, it's quite weird, but at least it has some angle now. Actually, it's quite well well thought though. I quite like it. So let me show you the bathroom. And uh, I really think that this hotel, this room, had got lots of details to uh, take photo. Instagrammer, you should come and stay here. And here is the bathroom, rain shower, handheld shower, the shampoo, hair wash, uh, body wash, conditioner. They have the hair dryer. Oh wow, they have a very beautiful uh, bedroom slipper. Vagabond uh, is a similar company. Then the toilet bowl, the towers. They give two. Oh, they, so the the toilet roll is just put like that. I think it's quite weird though. There's no toilet roll holder. The hand lotion, the power plug, then uh, the leather thing. It looks quite good. Yeah, actually, I quite like this room. We are going to do the bed test for the main bed. Uh, is the texture, the bed cover texture is the same? Mm, I think the duvet upstairs is softer. slightly softer. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, oh my god, it's a hard bed. <laughs> ready to jump? Okay. Jump over there. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, ouch! <laughs> very sturdy. It's super sturdy. I think this the structure is very. Sturdy. This bed is perfect for BDSM. You can tie out the hand and the leg there. It's like it won't really move. Mm. And the bed is a hard bed. Um, mm -hmm. I kind of appreciate this kind of bed now. <laughs> the old man bed. So there's four pillows here. Oh, it's a hard pillow. Would you like the, to try? The mattress oh. upstairs is softer though. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so. Oh, the pillow is nice. And this is a soft pillow. Oh. So they do give option for you: softer bed upstairs, and then a harder bed downstairs, and the hard pillow and the soft pillow, mm. and uh, the bed sheet underneath it is also a rough one. Oh. So maybe I will try to sleep upstairs. <laughs> I prefer the soft and silky types of the, the, bed. Liner okay. and uh, this is a king size bed. I just found out from the uh, app. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice, and I like this small little details on the 
the roof, I mean mm. the ceiling of the bed frame, so yeah. you don't see ugly thing mm. when you lie down. Yes. And uh, it's quite weird that to watch the TV like that because uh, it's being blocked. Like. Yeah, it's blocked halfway, uh. and uh, oh. it's a smart TV though. I have not checked the the TV yet. While well, Jim is checking, I must say that this area is very convenient, well, especially if Sorry. you want Sorry. to. <laughs> explore um, a little bit of Little India and then further down you can go to Bugis and also the Haji Lane <laughs> and the Farrah Park Hospital and Medical Center is just right opposite and then right beside the Serangoon House is where Holiday Inn is so um, this area has got lots of food and beverage options as well as uh, some sightseeing spots I quite like Little India. You really can get a lot of nice food here. Mm. Uh, it's not that smart TV, but you can uh, connect Bluetooth as a speaker to use a speaker, uh, the TV to play music. And you can connect the app, I mean the phone. Here is a basement for the happy hour. Hi. Oh, this is a place also you can have breakfast. And then uh, at 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., this is a place will be converted to the happy hour for the platinum guests. <laughs> So here it is, beautiful and colorful. There's a lot of things you can order from uh, this uh, evening cocktails hour. Um, there are sea bass with the uh, tarangon sauce, angus beef with Japanese bonju dressing, and uh, very impressive for the evening cocktail it starts from 4 p.m to 7 p.m you can order any five of the item each and also five drinks i just told the uh, staff david just help us arrange anything is good because that uh, he told us that uh, there are something you must try the tapas so yeah we will order the tapas if we don't have enough we can cross the road there is a famous japanese supermarket called donkey to have uh, more food over there. Davy is uh, making the drink for us. I'm going to try the first drink, the Negroni. Oh, it's really good. And I think Sean will love it. Uh, give it a try. And um, it's not too strong and it's not too uh, light. It's just nice, perfect. I would strongly recommend you to order this one before the food comes. David, the bartender, actually recommended that we try the espresso martini as well. Looks very nicely done. Um, mm, it's um, not too strong and then um, the froth is actually very nicely uh, done. So uh, it's very creamy and also uh, very tasty. Look at Sean's face, you'll know that we are quite surprised. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> uh, we can order 10 food but here is only 9 and uh, we can taste that all this and then we can choose one more uh, see which one we like we have the samosa we have the beef kufi the fish the street food i can't remember the puff rice and then the ravioli and peanuts it looks perfect for alcohol i actually have a good sleep what about you the bed is a bit too hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last night I slept on the top. It's quite comfortable. Uh, it's uh, it feel like a little bit compact to me, but uh, I I quite like this feeling like in a uh, baby. Yeah, correct. And then uh, the bed upstairs is really much more softer. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. And but, uh, um, the bed downstairs is a bit on the harder side. So if you prefer the hard bed you can actually sleep on the lower deck. Mm. Mm. And although we are on the second floor, it's very quiet. I think uh, it's very good that they give us a room that facing inside, not uh, facing the main road. Mm. Yeah, so um, one uh, minor complaint about the shower. Uh, very difficult to adjust the temperature because um, I get very confused about which direction does the hot water faucet opens and which direction does the cold water faucet closes. Yeah, it's both like this yeah, way. Dif different direction. Yeah. yeah. Then uh, the shampoo smell very strong uh, f chemical fragrance. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. So and even the lotion is smell like one of the uh, wet tissue that we used to have in our Chinese banquet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I think uh, the room itself is still quite comfortable. 
Uh, and then uh, we're going to have breakfast now. Yes. We are back to this uh, basement for the breakfast. So this is the menu you can order. From what I can see is uh, you can order any two main and one side and uh, one juice or lastly and one coffee or tea. Then uh, the drinks is here and I believe the side is here. And these are chargeable. This is a dosa masala and this is a homemade granola. And then uh, Sean is also ordered the pancake. The pancake looks like, oh, and the side is hash brown. We love the lassi, it's really, really good. And the uh, buttermilk pancake is like this. Um, everyone can order two main and one side and uh, two drinks, I think. It's just nice. I'm going to show you something big heart between my legs <laughs> <laughs> this is a sake we had last night uh, 1.8 so liters you can just uh, cross a road uh, across the road and then uh, get in a Japanese supermarket it's mm. very value for money yes oh I love this day I, yes I have a powerful recharge me too. Oh, those is a, he's very, we are very full <laughs> yeah very full <laughs> from, from an amazing lunch yes. um Although that the room is very small, but I think it's actually quite comfortable to me. The soundproof is very good. Mm. Everywhere is very cold. Yeah. This guy said they are gone very cold now. Yesterday he 20, complained about the lounge and the and the lounge? corridor is cool. Oh yeah, cold. very cold. Yes. Yeah. And then uh, we, I love the breakfast. I think the breakfast is amazing. Although that the item is very little, mm. but uh, I think that the kitchen, they put a heart to cook, prepare the item very yeah. well. Uh, if you are here and you are going for breakfast, be sure to try their dosa masala. Because and the lassi. And the lassi. Uh, the lassi is a bit on the sweeter side, according to Jim, but to me, it's acceptable. Uh, and then it's acceptable. infused with a lot of herbs. Mm. So it's really very nice mm. and uh, fragranceful, I would say. Yeah. Yes. And then for lunch, go to next door. <laughs> oh, the Komala <laughs> Vash Villa. Indian vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, it's restaurant Komala Villas, Villas. Yeah, yeah. amazing amazing yeah you get a very nice selection of Indian vegetarian mm. cuisines and then uh, very filling so <laughs> Uh, give you energy for the entire and day. We need to skip <laughs> dinner for sure. Uh, but uh, in the restaurant uh, at the lounge, you can get a very cool tiffin uh, meal uh, mm. in vegetarian or non-vegetarian from Tuesday to Friday. Yeah. I think it's quite cool. Uh, although that we can't have it here, but I can see from the menu is amazing. Yeah, Tuesdays to Fridays, um, the set menu is actually $37 plus plus. Uh, 36 for vegetarian and 38 for uh, non-vegetarian yeah so I we had a look at the menu uh, it's it looks really very exciting but too bad um, our stay don't coincide on a weekday otherwise we'll love to go for uh, we also try. check out their uh, lunch menu also very impressive yes. I think uh, they really put a lot of effort mm. on the planning it's more on like a street food to street food kind of thing it mm. is very cool yeah and i will definitely will come back here what about you yeah uh although the bed is hard you but, should sleep upstairs but it's still a very comfortable you sleep the whole afternoon like he's on to finish almost half <laughs> of the bottle by himself and then like uh, he slept the whole i'm a day, day drinker yeah. uh only one thing that i don't like is the shower uh the shampoo is too much fragrance uh, is very chemical. It's very me. difficult to control the water temperature. You have to wait for very long to get the hot water yes. then to adjust. Uh, so don't use a rain shower first. Test the temperature then you you get the you switch to the yeah. rain shower. Other than that, I think um, the room is very comfortable. Um, the whole setup is actually a bit on the cheesy side but it's nice for Instagrammers. Lots yeah. of Instagram. Uh, worthy kind of it spot. It looks like a very uh, cheesy love hotel to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it feels a bit, um, on picture actually, it feels a bit more on the classic, like, very, le le legend, very elegant, elegant, Frenchy, elegant, mm. colonial kind of look. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But still not too bad. Mm. Not too bad. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, with that, we hope you like this video. We hope that uh, when you need a very affordable Bonvoy Hotel in Singapore, this is the one. It can accommodate up to... 
Six packs, <laughs> luggage not included. Ah, after that, they can put anywhere. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs>